Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the molecular mass of the solute in case of elevation of boiling point. Also, we are going to see a very important numerical problem as well. And if you don't know about elevation of boiling point, you can check my previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. So, let's start. Before understanding the derivation part, we must have the knowledge of some important terms. Among them, the first one is the boiling point. So what is boiling point? Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. So look at here. Suppose this is a liquid kept in a vessel. What will happen if we heat it? Then obviously it will start to form vapor. More and more vapor will form if we keep on heating it, right? And there will be a time when the vapor pressure, vapor pressure of this liquid will be equal to the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure, that is, its value will be 1 atm. And the temperature at which the vapor pressure of this liquid becomes 1 atm is called the boiling point. Only at that temperature, this liquid will boil now. But what if we put some non-volatile solute in it? Some non-volatile solute in it. Then what will happen? The number of vapor molecules will decrease. Okay, the number of vapor molecules will decrease. Now, to make it heat, to make it boil, what do we need to do? We need to heat it more. We need to provide more heat. We need to raise the temperature of this liquid. Then only number of vapor molecules will be sufficient to make it equal to the atmospheric pressure that means the temperature should be increased in case of the non-volatile addition solution and only after that the vapor pressure will be equal to 1 atm now there are two cases tb the vapor pressure of solution sorry solvent tb is the vapor pressure of the solvent that is that liquid water pure water okay and T1, vapor pressure of solvent, sorry, solution, solution means when non-volatile, when non-volatile solute is added, then elevation, elevation of boiling point is actually equal to the difference between these two temperature and among them you can easily say this will be the greater temperature because more heat energy is supplied in this case so it will be t1 minus tb this is the elevation of boiling point and this is represented by del tb so this is how we represent the elevation of boiling point i hope you understood what vapor pressure actually is and i hope you understood about the elevation of boiling point elevation of boiling point means by how much degree celsius we need to raise the temperature of the liquid when non-volatile solute is added so that the vapor pressure of that solution becomes 1 atm now let's see the mathematical calculation or let's see the derivation suppose we take a vessel in which there is liquid that liquid may be anything let's consider that is water and if we put some non-volatile solute in it then what will happen the vapor pressure will decrease that is the lowering of vapor pressure will happen right vapor pressure will decrease and if vapor pressure decreases then obviously the boiling point of that solution decreases that means we have to supply more heat energy in order to boil it then what can we say if more amount of solute is added then obviously the elevation of boiling point will also be more let me write it over here greater the value of greater the value of molal concentration molal concentration of solute greater the value of molal concentration of solute greater will be the lowering of vapor pressure lowering of vapor pressure and greater and greater will be the elevation of boiling point 
So this is what you need to understand. If the value of molar concentration of the solute is increased, then there will be lowering of vapor pressure. That means vapor pressure will decrease. And as a result of that, the value of elevation of boiling point will increase. So what will happen? Uh, we can write, we can write del Tb. This is elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molar concentration of the solute if the concentration of the solute is increased then the value of the elevation of boiling point will also increase so this is the relation okay and if we remove this proportionality sign then what do we need to do we need to put a constant over here let's do that del tb is equal to kb into m let's consider this to be equation number one Okay, this KB is the proportionality constant and it is called molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant where KB is a proportionality, proportionality constant and it is also called molar, molar elevation constant, constant or ebullioscopic constant it has a lot of names so this is what kb actually called now look at there there is m m means the molar concentration of the solute now let's consider some more things let w1 is the weight of solute solute in gram m1 is the molecular mass of solute and w2 is the weight of solvent in gram weight of solvent in gram then the value of m that is molar concentration of the solute can be given by the formula number of moles of solute by weight weight of solvent in gram sorry in kg so this is the formula okay molar concentration of solute can be calculated by using the formula number of moles of solute by weight of solvent in kg so number of moles means w1 by m1 and weight of solvent in kg it is given kg but we have considered w2 be in gram so it will be w2 by 1000 because if we need to convert gram into kg we need to divide by 1000 so we get this much or m so therefore m can be uh, written as this thousand will go up this will be thousand w1 by m1 into w2 let us consider this to be equation number two then equation number one will become therefore equation number one will become how much del tb del tb is equal to kb kb into in place of small m we need to write this value 1000 w1 by m1 into w1 and this can be written as del tb is equal to 1000 kb w1 1000 kb w1 by m1 into w2 sorry this should be w2 m1 into w2 this is the required mathematical expression and this can also be written as del tb is equal to 1000 kb Look at here, there is W1 by M1. W1 by, w by M1 means N1. N1, this should be KB, KB, N1 by W2. This is another formula. But we calculate the value of molecular mass of the solute by using this formula. There is this M1 and we can calculate the value of M1 by using this formula. We need to have the elevation of boiling point. 1000 is constant number kb kb means molar elevation constant w1 is the given weight of the solute that we can calculate in laboratory and w2 is the given weight of the solvent so if we know all these things we can easily calculate the value of m1 okay so this is the complete uh, mathematical derivation for this topic 
Now you can see over here, there is this KB. What is the meaning of this KB? Is there any specific meaning of it? And how do we calculate the value of KB? Let's see it. For the, first of all, let me read this portion. We can easily calculate the value of KB by using this formula as well. But in this formula, this M1 that is molecular mass of the given solute needs to be calculated. Other things also should be calculated. And this becomes some lengthy job and time consuming as well. So how do we calculate the value of this KB easily? Then we use the concept of thermodynamics to calculate the value of KB. The value of KB is calculated, calculated by using the formula, by using the formula, there is a formula from thermodynamics, that formula is uh, KB is equal to RTB square by 1000 del HV. This is that formula, that magical formula that helps us to calculate the value of KB, that is molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant. This word is a little difficult, right? Ebullioscopic. So you need to remember it, okay? So ebullioscopic. So try to learn it two or three times and it will be easier for you to understand it. So, this is the formula by which we can calculate the value, value of ebullioscopic constant that is RTB square by 1000 del HB where this R is, what is R? Yes, you are correct. Universal, universal gas constant. Whenever I say universal, the first word in my mind comes universal gravitational constant and it is not universal gravitational constant, it is universal gas constant from chemistry, okay. Similarly, there is TB, this is TB, not TV, okay. TB, this is the uh, boiling point, boiling point of pure solvent boiling point of pure solvent and there is del hv the most important part the messenger of thermodynamics del hv del hv is enthalpy enthalpy of vaporization enthalpy of vaporization this is also called latent latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization so this formula is used to calculate the value of kb now what is the unit of kb in numerical problems sometimes it might tell us to calculate the value of kb and in that time we need to write the unit as well so what is the unit of kb look at here the unit of kb kb can be uh, calculated by using this formula or this formula okay let us use this formula to calculate the value of KB. So this formula can be rearranged to find the value of KB. KB will be equal to uh, del TB into W2, del TB into uh, W2 by 1000 into N1, 1000 into N1. Now let's put the values over here, okay. Now there is del TB, it is obviously temperature difference, its unit is Kelvin, W2 by 1000 means kg right by n1 means mole so this is the unit of kb that is kelvin kg per mole so kb is equal to kelvin kg per mole so if you calculate the value of kb in any numerical problem always write this unit and it will be correct now here we understood how do we calculate the value of kb and how to uh, find the, uh, how to write the unit of KB as well. But what is the meaning of KB? That we need to understand as well. And we can understand the meaning of KB by using this expression. Again, look at here. There is uh, del TB is equal to 1000 KB N1 by W2. If we put the value of N1 to be 1 mole and W2 to be 1 kg, then what will happen? Uh, del tb will be equal to kb this by this is kg okay so this will be the uh, this will be the condition obtained when we put the value of n1 to be 1 mole and w2 to be 1 kg so what can we conclude when 1 mole of the solute is dissolved in 1 kg of the solvent then the found elevation of boiling point is actually called the 
molal elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant so this is the meaning of the k this is the meaning of the molal elevation constant that is kb now let's see a very important numerical problem that is frequently asked in colligative property chapter the question of the numerical problem is calculate the value of boiling point constant that is kb here it is saying boiling point constant it might say ebullioscopic constant or molal elevation constant or elevation constant only okay all of them means kb for water we need to calculate it for the water and the given that the uh, the latent heat of vaporization of water is 504 504 calorie per gram latent heat of vaporization is uh, enthalpy of vaporization okay also uh, what does the value of kb signify so we need to calculate the value of kb first and for that we need to write the given data first right so given so what are given look at there uh, given that the latent heat of vaporization latent heat means del h v this is given to be how much 504 uh, calorie per gram this is the first data that is given similarly the value of r there is calorie so it will be 1.987 calorie per mole per kelvin this is the value of r and as it is talking about water then we need to write the value of tv that is the boiling point of water to be 100 degrees celsius and we need to convert it into the kelvin unit right so it will be 100 plus 273 kelvin and it will be 373 kelvin now let's use the formula to calculate the value of kb so kb will be equal to r tb square by 1000 del v h sorry del h v this is the formula that we need to calc that we need to use in order to calculate the value of kb right so r means 1.987 into tb means 373 whole square by 1000 into del hv it is given to be 504 and if we put this on calculator then we will get 0 0.548 548 kelvin per gram per kg per mole so this is the unit of kb so we got the value of kb that is molar elevation constant or boiling point constant to be 0 0.548 kelvin per kg per mole i hope this numerical problem question was very simple now let's give the answer of another question that is what does the value of kb signify here we got the value of kb to be this much so what is the meaning of kb i have already told you when one mole of the solute is dissolved in one kg of the solvent then the value of kb becomes equal to the elevation of boiling point so here we got the value of kb to be this much then this means the value of kb to be to be 0 0.548 kelvin per kg per mole means means when when one mole of solute when one mole of solute is added added to 1 kg of solvent solvent then then the elevation the elevation of boiling point will be will be 0 0.548 kelvin so this is the exact answer and this is what the value of kb that is 0 0.548 kelvin per kg per mole actually mean so that's all in this video in this video we understood what boiling point and uh, elevation of boiling point actually are and we understood how to calculate the molecular mass of the solute by doing a mathematical calculation we understood everything about kb that is molal elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant and we saw this important numerical problem as well that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video Thank you.